East Idaho Newsmakers is brought to you by the Bank of Commerce, your bank of a lifetime. This is East Idaho Newsmakers with Nate Eaton. Welcome everybody to East Idaho Newsmakers. We appreciate you for watching today. Today we have a guest named Stuart Edge. You've probably heard of him. He likely doesn't need an introduction, but this guy has, his videos have been seen around the world over 430 million views. He has 2.5 million, probably a lot more than that, subscribers on his YouTube channel. Yeah, or, uh, or less, depending on who you ask. Yeah, depending <laughs> on the video, maybe. I'm going to show you right now some of his clips that you've probably seen online. Check this out. Siri, how do I ask out the pretty girl next to me? What's up, guys? Stuart Edge here. You know, Siri can do a lot of things for you, but I've always wondered if she can help you get a date. So today, we're going to find out. Siri, how do I get the cute guy next to me to ask me out? Siri, how do I ask out the pretty girl next to me? We're in Las Vegas, and we're gonna be pranking people. He's gonna get inside this vending machine, and when I ask people to get my soda, they're gonna reach down, and he's gonna grab their hand. Do you wanna build a snowman? Okay. <laughs> What's up, guys? Stuart Edge here. I'm here with some of my friends. We got one question for you. Are you afraid of love? For this magic trick, I've taken $1,000 out of my personal funds, and we're going to hit the streets looking for people who can use a pick-me-up. Please welcome Stuart Edge into the studio in East Idaho for a show. Thanks for coming in here to EastIdahoNews.com. Thank you. So the big question, we want to get to a lot of the videos that, that you've done and that people have seen. How? Well, let's just go back to the beginning, though. How did you get your start in doing this? Um, th thankfully, it's a cool story. <laughs> we know? like cool stories. Yeah, like thankfully, it was a, I, I actually used to clean porta potties. That was my job. And I mean, it, there's a lot of starts to what I do, but the big thing that I tell is I was cleaning porta potties. Um, I had that job. Uh, I was 23 years old. And I would wake up at 4.30 in the morning every day and clean for about 15 hours a day. It was a crappy job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the name of the company was Honey Bucket. <laughs> honey Bucket. Honey Bucket. Honey, yeah. Poor bees. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you found a lot of honey at 4.30 yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Were you in college or were, had you finished? Yeah. So I was okay. in school. I was okay. at Utah Valley University. And to earn some money, I would clean porta potties. It actually started out just being a summer job. Um, but then they were really flexible with my school schedule, and so I decided to stick with it. Um, otherwise, I would not have continued to do that. A lot of people wonder, why did you stay doing that? It's because it was very flexible with the school schedule, and I got used to the smell, so I figured it was something I could brave. Did, you, did it pay well? Um, no, it did not. Hmm. Like $11 an hour. Oh, wow. So, it, it, yeah. I, I look back, I'm like, why did I do that? I do not know. Um, so then... After doing that, the, they started giving me more and more hours, and pretty soon I could not go to school anymore. And I, so after about a year and three months, I realized I was working 15 hours a day cleaning porta potties, and I just had this moment where I had to stop, and I was like, what am I doing with my life? And cleaning porta potties, it was a great job, respectable, I met a lot of good people, but just for me, it didn't feel like it was where I wanted to be. And so I just had this thought one day to start making videos, which was something I loved to do growing up. And so that's where it kind of like brought me back to my childhood. So as a kid, did you have one of those old camcorders with the VHS tapes? And my friends did. I never had all that per stuff personally. It was all my friends that had it. And so I never really got to dive into it. So I was like, oh, yeah, I've always kind of wanted to do that. Anyway, so I ended up buying a Canon T4i, which was about an $800 camera, and I had $800 total, so I spent all my money to buy that camera, all that porta potty money. <laughs> and I just started taking that with me er everywhere. What ended up happening was a friend of mine saw me with that, said he could get me jo a job as an intern at a company, and they made YouTube videos, and I l learned about this world of YouTube, and then just like a few weeks into working at that job, I had this idea to do a social experiment where I dropped a mistletoe down in front of people to see if they would kiss under it, and that video went viral overnight, and then it hasn't slowed down since. Wow, so that was that your first video? Yeah. Your the, first video you posted just took off. Yeah, well, so I had done like, I had done like a video where I went rope swinging with some friends, and then I shot a music video for somebody else. 
But that was the first time where I was like, I'm gonna try this YouTube thing. Woke up, made a video, edited it, boom. And like my life literally changed overnight. I was cleaning porta potties and then just a few months later I was a viral internet sensation. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. What year was this? 2012, the end of 2012. Okay, so before Facebook video was real big. Yes. It was mainly YouTube at the time. Yes. And did you shoot that first video all by yourself? I, um, I had the help of two friends Okay. Um, that were the people in front of the camera. I was just behind it and then I edited it. Um, and I had a huge support of the company I worked at. They let me use all of their equipment. And so it was the Harmon Brothers. They've done, produced a lot of viral content. So a few years ago, my wife and I uh, announced that we were having another baby. We made a quirky little video. Yeah. Put it online, went to bed the next morning. Yeah. It had 430,000 views. Wow. And, and a Today Show producer called. It's a scary feeling. Yeah, right? that's what I'm wondering. Do you go, do, is that with the mistletoe thing? Were you expecting that big or were you just thinking no. a few friends? And No, that, having a viral video or having anything, especially those overnight things, it feels like you wake up in a different world and you feel scared because you're like, oh no, like this, what's happening is, are things getting, like what's going to happen is this, are people going to like this or are people going to hate this? So, um, they obviously liked it. Yeah, they liked it. Thankfully. So is that where you think, all right, I got to keep this going. Yeah. That's where a can of worms was opened and just my life hasn't slowed down since. And I think I'm just now after five years kind of like realizing, oh, Wait, this is what's happening. Any this idea is, how many videos you've made? Um, over a hundred. Over a hundred? Well, that's over a hundred like of the produced main videos, but I mean, my life has just been 24 seven online for the past five years. Yeah, listen to this. There's uh, over 70 million views. Now th these numbers are as of like a few weeks ago, so I know they've gone up quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, on your Facebook page, yeah. you've been on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, CNN, Good Morning America, Billboard, Extra, yeah. The Blaze, Justin Bieber's mentioned you. What video yeah. was that? Um, Do you remember? There were two of them. <laughs> that sounds like really like, yo, what's up? No, no, that's great. Please, <laughs> please, if please, you're get, please, please get the stats right. Yeah. Please get the stats <laughs> Two videos. <laughs> no, um, one of them was a Justin Bieber. We took his song, Sorry, which was big, and we did this video where I um, danced in 31 different costumes for Halloween and every time like on the beat every time we would move our costume would change but the background background would stay the same so they tweeted that and and Facebooked that um, but then we did this Carly Rae Jepsen car call me maybe like lip dance thing and lip dance lip <laughs> <laughs> our lips were dancing <laughs> anyway and that was mentioned by the Biebs and well. and Carly Rae too, right? And Carly Rae, and then and Scooter Braun, who manages Justin Bieber. It's a big deal. Yeah, Chris Pratt, Ashton, Kut Ashton Kutcher, yeah. James Gunn. Yeah. So it's not like uh, no one's ever heard of you. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's a big thing. So you've been doing this for what five, six years now? Five years. Five years. Yeah. Do you feel that the pressure is always on now to come up with? something bigger and better? Or are you to the point where you're just gonna release it and that's what it is? Yeah, there's pressure. I don't think it's, I don't think it comes from like a healthy place per se, but um, yeah, I, I think ideally it'd be nice just to not worry, right? I think when you start getting in your head about what you need to do, um, that's when things come off as disingenuine. Um, and I've definitely seen that in my career. Like it's not been an easy uphill ride the entire time. In that five years, it's been up and down. And I've changed as a person. I think I've, I've burned bridges. I've, I've healed bridges. And it's just, it's been a crazy five years. Yeah. What, what's interesting too about you is that a lot of people, well, everybody it seems now wants to launch a YouTube yeah. channel or a Facebook video. Yes. But you, you're, you're unique because you do these different types of videos. I mean, there's the big teddy bear videos where, yeah. you, are you in the teddy bear or someone's dressed in, in, in a he, 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 he would be so mad right now if he's he not a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah. Someone is a teddy bear. What? No, no, it's bear. Uh, bear. 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 A huge bear goes around and... Yeah, he would be so offended that you assumed that somebody 
a human is inside of him? Can, is he here? What, what is this? Can, can we, <laughs> let's bring him here next time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I'll apologize in yes, person. Yeah. And, and he go, can go. I'm sorry, he, Bear. My apologies. Bear, I am sorry. I know people assume that just some human's inside of you, but. If we were on Ellen, he'd pop out of yeah. some, somewhere. But yeah. he goes around and surprises people and gives them a flower. Or, uh -huh. But then you also do magic tricks. Yes. And you also do these surprise prank videos, hidden cameras, mm -hmm. but you also do really heartwarming videos where yeah. a girl hit your car yeah. and you went over and gave her money? Yes. How, how did that come about? Well, um, yeah, so I guess I like to just, I guess I'm a professional fun haver. I just get to kind of go and experience my life and document it um, and then, you know, put a little twist and, and polish production value on the things that are happening in my life. Uh, that thing with the girl that hit my car, I was doing a video shoot in Logan and uh, went to my car and noticed there was a hit, like a, a, someone had hit it and they left a note and I was like, oh, just let's start rolling and see what happens from this. Uh, and so, yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know how to explain what I do either. It's like I just document everything I'm doing in a fun way. There was one video that I remember I, I saw, this is probably several years ago, where you actually flew, did you fly to London? Yes. Because, explain the story behind it. Yeah, so um, I was inspired by the honesty of that girl that um, had hit my car, and that just resonated with me for a long time. Shortly after that, I got an email from a guy um, saying that he had received a PayPal payment from me for about $400 and he didn't think it was the right payment. And so I checked into it and it turns out that I had just gotten one letter wrong in the email. I was sending uh, the payment to a John Bill, but I put an S and it was John Bills, excuse me, I, it was John Bills that I was sending it to and I accidentally missed an S. And so it went to some random guy in, in England and he let me know that it was wrong. And I was just so inspired by that honesty. And you know, I could have just ended it there, but um, I thought, what a cool thing to be able to document, to be able to share a story and promote a message about uh, living an honest life. So I flew out to London and like connected with his wife on Facebook and like, okay, we'll meet you here. And then just walked by and dropped like an envelope and, and was out. And that was, that was cool. I liked that. It was really cool. I, I yeah. still remember it that he was at a coffee shop or having lunch or something, right? Yep. And you were outside. Yeah. Where do your ideas come from? Some of the ideas like that just come by stuff that happens to me during the day. Um, I actually try to not have everything that happens to me be a video. Um, otherwise, you know, you don't really know where the line is. Um, so there are videos like that, but then there are ones that I formulate myself. I think of something in pop culture that um, I want to put my own twist on. For example, one of the more recent videos we did was themed around The Greatest Showman. So that was a specific thing that we took, which was The Greatest Showman, and we thought, how can we put our own twist? So there's different avenues you can go to, to come. But my favorite is when the idea just like hits me, and I just know, like, oh my gosh, this is going to be great. Like the car crash? Like the girl that hit your car? Um, y yes. I mean, that, that's one that's kind of formulating just around like a, an event in my life. But I like the ones where I have this idea um, for example, like a goofy movie in real life was a video I did that just like, you know, hits me and I just go, yes, let's make that video happen. Do you know off the top of your head, your most watched video? Um, yeah, it's involving bear, the bear, 47 million views. And yeah. what was the bear doing? Um, he was handing out flowers and roses. Yeah. And so. was that was that a Valentine themed one that you just put up? And yeah, that was last year or two and years ago. How did it get so big? Any idea? Is well, people just love Bear. You know, he's just got a great personality, and he's just really good on camera. And so we kind of had this like thing going back and forth because, you know, he is kind of sh overshadowing me lately, and. You know that's hard. Tell him right. to get it, get it in gear. Yeah, gear. right. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 nice for me because it does get me exposure. But when people want to see Bear more than they want to see me, 
it's like there's a little problem. There. Where did the idea to invite Bear with you, to invite him to be part of you, where did that come from? Yeah, I like that phrasing. You know? <laughs> You're like, where did the idea I, I, come I, I, to start I, making it? <laughs> I'm not um, going to offend him again. Yeah. No, the idea, um, I had seen one of those Costco bears a uh, long time ago, before I even started making videos. Um, like, and I just had that thought, like, how funny would it be to have that thing come to life? And then um, it wasn't until four or five, five years later that I, I magically made Bear come to life. And now he hangs around me all the time. And gave you your highest viewed video yes. ever. Yeah, which is cool that that is literally one of the first video ideas I had um, to have a bear handing out things. But it was so before I even thought about making videos. And so it's kind of cool to see it come back around and have it be my most viewed video. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That, that would be sweet. So in the beginning, it was you. Yeah. How, how many people are now part of your crew? I mean, do you have a full on staff that helps you with these mm -hmm. videos? Um, it's gone in f phases. Uh, there have been times where I've had um, a lot of people, and then I'm always changing. But right now, um, I have management, and then uh, just crew that comes around, and like we got our crew right here. Yeah, they're 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 shooting video yeah. of us, so we have multi cameras. It's called the Stew the, Crew. The, the Stew, Stew crew. crew. I like yeah. that. For people, you know, everyday people watching, what is it like to have a manager? What, what a does manager. a manager do? Did you ever think you'd have a manager? I don't know. I mean, we all have managers <laughs> at work, but you've got, you've got a manager. A manager, right? Wow. Um, I don't know. Uh, whew, what's it like? It's, it's a, we could bring her on, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess I would be speaking to the, the creators or the entrepreneurs right now. I mean, it's a lot of times you want to take everything on and just run it all. And sometimes we wear, we wear that as a badge of honor of like, oh, look how busy I am, you know, and look at all the stuff I'm doing. But I've learned that um, you really do have to delegate and you have to share the workload. And um, you know, it's not you. It's not meaning that you're stepping out of the spotlight or or you know, giving up your say in things. But it it takes work. It's just. That's another part of life and business. You mentioned you want to speak to the entrepreneurs. We'll take a quick break, but when we come back, uh, I want to hear what words you would say to the aspiring YouTube yeah. star out there. Yeah. And uh, also the question that I don't know if anyone can answer, how do you make a viral video? I've heard that's like, how do you win the lottery? Yeah. I mean, I think it's a little bit easier, but I'll tell you guys in a little bit. All right, be right back. At the Bank of Commerce, we understand the hard work, determination, and sacrifice it takes to run a successful business. That's why we're here every step of the way to help make your dreams come true. The Bank of Commerce, your bank of a lifetime. Welcome back. Today we are talking with Stuart Edge, YouTube megastar. Hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands yes, of millions. Hundreds. <laughs> hundreds of millions? Views. Uh, oh, nearly 500 million views. People but, have seen the videos. Yes. Don't exit <laughs> your window now to watch them, but when the show's over, go to the other window and, and yeah. check out Stuart's channel. So um, yeah, like I said before the break, everybody wants to, almost everybody wants to make a video that goes viral. Yeah. And make a living doing what you're doing. Yeah. How do you do that? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, what I've seen other people do very, is I think hard work. I mean, there's work involved. I don't know. Like, I don't know why people want to do this. It's like, <laughs> Run away, like run away do you, from this. Do you career. still enjoy it though? Um, here, I don't know. Sometimes I, I have to think. Yeah, yeah. Man, we're this is like turned into a doctor. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I, I do, but um, there are. It's it's now life. It's a lifestyle now, and elements of life that you know you have in your regular life, you have to incorporate into. I don't know what I'm saying. It's an entire lifestyle that you're living, and so. Um, I don't think you get to the point where it's just relaxing all the time. And I think I thought that that's where I would get someday, was where I would just be relaxing. Um, but that's never come. And so I'm realizing that it's work. No matter what stage you're in, like you accomplish one thing, you have one video go viral, but then like you got to go on to the next thing. You're only as good as the next thing you do. And so um, I am very grateful that I can do 
what I love and I can be my own boss and have my own schedule. I'm so grateful for that. And so that is one of the best things about what I get to do. But um, there are elements in this, like you have to have a lot of patience with yourself, with other people. You have to focus a lot more on people. If you aren't, if you're not good at like caring about people and putting people first, this is a tough industry to be in because that's what it comes down to is do you put people first? Do you say the kind word to somebody? When a hater comments, do you respond kindly? And like that's what it comes down to. If you want to get into it for the fame, like it's going to it's going to like take you over. It is. How do you respond to the haters? Do you just ignore it? Are you to the point where you're like, whatever, I don't care what they think, or does it still hurt a little? Um, for, it, it stings a lot now as I'm working very hard in traveling the world and um, oftentimes, um, like on YouTube for example, it's YouTube specifically, the videos aren't doing what they used to do, but on other platforms they're doing better, right? And so sometimes I think people can get tunnel visioned and so when people comment maybe in ignorance, it's hard to respond to that. And there are times that I w want to just like lash out. And I think maybe in times I, I have, but now what I live by is you just kind of have to let it go. And that's tough. If that's a hard thing for you to do, that's what making YouTube videos is, is just like being able to let things go. You mentioned the greatest showman video. I mean yeah. that. That was an impressive video. How long did that take you to shoot? Um, it took us an evening to shoot. And that's it? Oh, Six oh, hours. That's it, he says. No, 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 no. I'm saying. Get Brady over No, no, no. It, that's it, it he looked, says. No, no, no. It that's looked like it. you guys were there. Based on the, the whole yeah. shot produced really well. It was I a thought, very cool I evening. thought, oh, they were, they were out there for 12 hours working on this. I think that's, so as far as the actual time meant, sh like shooting the video, um, maybe it was only a few hours, but the mental energy and the planning was definitely, it was weeks, right? It was just like every day thinking about the shots. That trip to New York where you shot it yeah. was part of a series you're doing this year where yeah. you're going to a different city every year, or yeah. every month. Yeah, it's a different city. Um, 12 places in 12 months is what it is. And so every month I'm in a different part of the world and we're taking magic, music, and dance, which are the three universal languages in my book that you don't really need to, you just, those speak for themselves. Um, and we're taking them to the streets of different parts of the world. We've done Utah, uh, New York, and then in uh, March we'll be in Los Angeles. And then after that, we're going international, places like India, Australia, Mexico. And uh, it's, it's exciting to take everything that I've been doing for the past five years and uh, take it around the world. And so for every month, if you're watching, you can go onto the, the Stewart's channel, his page, and see the different videos. Mm -hmm. New York was just posted. Yep. And then uh, in March, it will, be, it will be the new city. I asked your manager why Idaho Falls isn't on the list. Well, I... The most exotic place of all. I, I have been here before. Um, I came up here to watch the eclipse. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. And I made a Did little... you do a video? I did, but I, I never released it. It was in this time when I was doing these vlogs, um, but uh, I, I didn't release the video. What did you think of the eclipse? It was wonderful. It was so cool. Um, that was a moment where you, it made me feel like this uh, yeah. big, because you're like, whoa, there is like something else out there that is controlling like this whole universe. It's one of the few things, you know, in news we hype things, it's one of the few things that I think lived up to the hype or yeah. even excelled it, 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 it you know, what I past. think it excelled. I think yeah. there was so much hype and then you're just like, okay, and then you watch it and you're like, whoa. <laughs> like, this is Now I know why people stuff. travel the world to see these things. Yep. Where do you see yourself in five, 10 years from now? Um, in five years, Oh man, where do I see myself in five days? That's the question. <laughs> I don't not know. Um, in five years, I would like to have the big, the best thing for me would that when people watch my stuff, they can see a clean, consistent brand. That's more valuable to me than views right now. Is just um, branding is so important. If someone can just like look at your page and they can just look at it and get an idea of what you're about, that's what I want. Because there are so many different elements of what I do, magic, music, dance, sometimes 
you're like, okay, well, is he doing magic? Is he doing dance? Is he doing this giant, giant teddy bear right now? What, what, what's he doing? So um, in five years, that's where I'd want to be. And, and what do you want that focus to be? Any idea? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I, I like that I'm doing live shows right now. Um, and that's why I'm out here and, and I'm doing a live stage show. And I think it should be something around that. Um, but uh, also this travels. Um, it's, it's wonderful that I'm getting to travel. I think this can continue. Um, traveling to 12 different places in 12 months. Also, um, I forget about this a lot, but I have a movie coming out that I acted in called Little Women. It's got some big name stars, so I'd love to be like in acting in more major films. You've collaborated with a few uh, p stars yeah. in your videos and in their videos. I think you were with Lindsey Sterling, weren't you, weren't yeah. you on a few of them? Yeah, I and, was. And I think you were in, on Dancing with the Stars, watching her, were Yeah, you? yes, I got yeah. to go and watch that. That was fun. Yeah, yeah was, they took an audience shot. I remember seeing I know, seeing I was just like right there in my face. I'm like, yo, what's Maybe up? you could be on Dancing with the Stars. That would be cool. That would be cool. I think there's a lot of, like, I've been so kind of focused on just like the, this month that that question kind of throws me for a loop because I forget. But um, yeah, I would love to have my own talk show someday. If like not hosting the Tonight Show, having something equivalent that is known as like the next cool show. Because I think that's where I would really shine because I have so many talents. And you think about Jimmy Fallon and he's like a singer. He can, he can dance and he can, he can just hang out and do all this stuff. I think with my ability to do magic and play the guitar, I think that could just like make for an awesome. Like, That's a great show. point. And he's a nice guy. He is. And, yeah. and you seem like a nice guy. You're a nice guy too. Thanks. By the way, how'd you end up on the show? How'd that come about? Um, I was out. So I had a video go viral that was a magic trick, and he, it got like 10 million views in the first week, and he was one of them. And just it was like, hey, I'd love for you to come on my show. He reached out to me through his producers, and then I was I was there. I watched that video and I'm like, how in the world? Like, I, I did not know magic at the time. I knew that one trick. <laughs> oh, and wow. they're like, magician, Stuart Edge. And I'm like, okay. So, so they reach out to you via like a tech a uh, email or something? Yeah, yeah. And what's that response when you're sitting in your front room and the, the late show? He's um, on the late show at the time, right? The, uh, late night. Yeah, it was a late night. You're not gonna like this, but I was just like, okay, whatever. Like, I was so, my head was so big at the time. Like, I, w Anderson Cooper had reached out to me. There were so many news stations. And so it was just another thing. I didn't know who Jimmy Fallon was at the time. And I went over to a friend's house and I was like, yeah, so I'm like, Jimmy Fallon? She's like, what? She like showed me his videos. And then it was when, then I was like, oh, whoa, okay, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. Uh, but yeah, I, I was just, I didn't, I was like, who is this guy, right? So I feel bad saying that. So how have you over the years, you said you had a big head at the time. Yeah. What has humbled you? Man, I think, um, I mean, there's a, I think there's a fall after, no matter how high you go. I think um, fluctuation in views and success and subscriber counts will really do that to you because it, like, it kind of makes you realize that, hey, your head was in the clouds a little bit. Um, and I think I'm, I'm grateful for that because I think of all the things I could come out of this whole experience, if I could come out just like a solid, grounded person, then that's what it's all about, you know? Uh, for the kid out there watching that, ha that has watched yeah. your videos, watched your magic tricks, you know, followed you, what would you, what would you say to them? Um, I would say be genuine to who you are. Um, we live in an age where, uh, you know, we put our best selves forward, and I don't think that's bad. I think it's wonderful to take a photo that you like and, and make it look even better. I don't think that's bad, but um, behind that, make sure you're being genuine. I think if you really think about it, then you can um, find out what is being genuine, and then figure out a way of taking that genuineness and turning it into something awesome. I mean, I edit my videos to make them look good. It's not like I'm like, be genuine and throw out whatever. So I would just say be genuine, and that takes some meditation and some thought to figure out what that is for you. Next time you're up here, we'll have to do, do something with you. Go out in the community and surprise yeah. people if, if you're down for that. Yes. Stuart Edge, everybody, go Could check. Could we go swim in the falls? Is that allowed? I, I think it's allowed at one portion of the river. 
Uh, but we can check and get back to you. Yeah. I don't think you can jump into the falls. Yeah, that's dangerous too. There, there have been a few unfortunate incidents where people have yeah. tried to drive. Yeah, I'm not talking about like drive, like the, I think when I mean swim, I think it'd be fun to like just go in at the rocks. And yeah, stuff oh yeah, stuff. yeah, you can go play and you can you can take a boat. And I know all you people are gonna write us an email saying, you can't swim, so I, I'm, I'm saying I don't I'm know. So <laughs> we'll find out realize. for Stuart <laughs> and you can come swim with us. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be a let's good do, let's, let's take a boat, that's what I wanna say. Maybe swimming yes. in the falls is not what I should have said. I would love to take a boat. With a falls. life jacket when the water is calm. Yeah. There you go. Stuart Edge, everybody, go check out his YouTube channel, his Facebook page, his Instagram page, add to those numbers, and uh, thanks for coming in. Appreciate you talking with us. Yeah. East Idaho Newsmakers is brought to you by the Bank of Commerce, your bank of a lifetime.